All right, gang, uh, this is going to get you ready for your upcoming quiz of graphing rational functions, your favorite, okay? So here's a review on graphing rational functions, okay? So in a rational function, which just means a fractional polynomial function, to get your x-intercepts or your zeros, um, you set your top equal to zero. That's how we get uh, the zeros or the x-intercepts. To get our vertical asymptotes, we set the bottom, the denominator, equal to zero. If the top degree is less than the bottom degree, then you uh, automatically have a horizontal asymptote or asymptote at y equals zero. Okay, if the top equals the bottom, then you have a horizontal asymptote that's y equals whatever the leading coefficients are. Okay, so we have an example of that here. So if the top is one degree greater, um, then you don't have a horizontal asymptote. You have a slant asymptote, <coughs> excuse me, and you get that by doing long division, okay? And holes come from the cancellations of common factors. So we'll get some, I've got an example of that also. Okay, so use this function, uh, y equals 3x squared over 2x squared minus 8, and find the following. And, and if none exists, then state none, then graph, okay? This would stand for vertical asymptote, horizontal asymptote, slant asymptote, zeros and holes. All right, of course, let's go ahead and factor that guy, okay? All right, so uh, if we pull a 2 out of uh, 2x squared minus 8, it gets us 2 times x squared minus 4, and then x squared minus 4 factors to x plus 2 x minus 2. Okay, so let's go through these. So the vertical asymptotes are where the denominator equals 0. So I set x plus 2 equal to 0, and then we go minus 2 minus 2. Here we set this equal to 0. We go plus 2 plus 2. So our vertical asymptotes are at plus or minus um, uh, 2. Horizontal asymptotes. Okay, there is a horizontal asymptote. The degrees are the same. So our horizontal asymptote is y equals three halves, our, our leading coefficients right there, okay? So that, that's our horizontal asymptote, which means there's no slant asymptote, okay? And the zeros are when we set the top equal to zero. So we just set uh, 3x squared equal to zero, or x has to be zero on there. And there's no holes because no factors cancel out, so there's no holes. All right, let's go ahead and start graphing this. So here's the vertical asymptotes at, at plus or minus two right there. Here's the horizontal at three halves, y equals three halves, okay, which is one and a half. And then here's the zero right here at x equals um, zero. So just set up a T chart right there. Now on this one here, I'm going to plug the values into these guys because when I square a number, both, both negative five and positive five are going to be the same number when I square it. So let's do that. So we're going to plug in negative five and positive five with plus or minus five. 5 squared is 25, 3 times 25 is 75, on the bottom we get 50 minus 8, 75 over 42 is about 1.8, so at negative 5 it's just up uh, about 1.8, here's 1, here's 2, so 1.8 is just above the asymptote of 1.5, and same on this side. Okay, let's plug in negative 4 or positive 4, square it, and we get 2. Okay, so go to negative 4 up to 2. Okay, now I'm pretty sure, pretty darn sure, this graph is going to go up like this, and then over here it's going to go in this manner right here. Okay, I'm pretty sure from doing uh, the lessons yesterday, this is going to be a horseshoe one. But let's keep going, you guys. Let's plug in uh, negative 3 and positive 3. Okay, so I get uh, 2.7. Yep, it sure looks like it. So it's going to be a graph that goes up in that direction. All right, let's try negative 1 and positive 1. Okay, so... 3 times 1 squared is 3, 2 times 1 squared is 2, 2 minus 6 is, 2 minus 8 is uh, negative 6. So 3 over negative 6 is uh, negative 1 half or negative 0.5. Okay, that just confirms this is going to be kind of the upside down horseshoe graph right there. All right, okay, let's graph this guy. Okay, so here, always factor it, you guys. So let's go ahead and factor it. And uh, uh, the top factors to 2x minus 5, x plus 1. The bottom factors to x plus 3, x plus 1. Okay, factors of 3 that add to 4. Okay, all right. So now, can you see these guys uh, cancel right here? Now, anything that makes 0 in the denominator is a no-no. So uh, x can't be negative 3. X can't be negative 1. But these guys cancel. So on our graph, our graph is going to approach y equals 2x minus 5 over x plus 3. 
However, since um, we had an x plus 1 downstairs, we still got to use the restriction x uh, can't equal negative 1. So in this graph, we're going to have a whole. So we're going to have a whole at x equals negative 1, and then it simplifies to this when we cancel the x plus 1s. It simplifies to this over this. That's what this says. So I plug in negative 1 right there and negative 1 right there to get our y. Okay, so I get negative 3.5. So there's a hole at negative 1, uh, negative 3.5. Okay, now we're looking at this. Okay, to get the zeros, we set the top equal to 0. And to get the vertical asymptote, we set the bottom equal to 0. Okay, so... Uh, oh, and then we have a horizontal asymptote right here. Since these are both the same degrees, then it's going to be 2 over this 1 right here. 2 over 1 is 2. So I've got a horizontal at y equals 2, and then this equals 0 at x equals negative 3 right there. Okay, and then I get a 0 at when I set the top equal to 0. So 2x minus 5 equals 0. So if we did plus 5 plus 5 and then divide it by 2, we get 2.5. So there's a 0 right there. Okay, given this uh, point right here and this hole right there, I'm pretty sure this graph is going in this direction right there. Okay, I don't know what's happening on this side, so I'm going to plot some points right here. Let's go ahead and just plot some points, okay? Here we go. So uh, I'm going to plug in negative 5, okay? So I think I did all these real quick just to save time. So plug in negative 5, we get 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. Negative 10 minus 5 is negative 15. And then we go negative 5 plus 2 is negative 2. So negative 15 over negative 2, what is it? That's 7.5, okay? So there they are. I, I graphed all those. I got negative 4s up there at 13 right there. So I'm just sort of guesstimating right there. So anyway, so it's going, it's way up there. So that, that tells me this graph is going down over here, and it's going to, so my graph didn't fit uh, and I ran out of time this morning. So had I known, I'd have made this graph much larger. I would have made it go up to 13 or counted them by twos or whatever. Anyway, so here's the graph. It's going like this over here, and it's going like this. Don't forget about the hole that it's going through, so something like that, okay? All right, you guys. I hope you guys do fantastic on your quiz. Take care.